Well, the weather's getting better, as you can see, and the campaign is really hotting up since the Parliament came to an end just about a week ago. We've had a remarkable week. For the SNP locally, we, it started with Stuart Hosey, the deputy leader, coming on along to Kirkcaldy and along with me launching the SNP's campaign against austerity. We then had Alex Salmond, the former First Minister, come along and talking about the need to make sure that the vow is honoured and that more powers come back to Scotland. We then had the leaders' debate on television where Nicola Sturgeon is generally considered to have been by far the best performer, the best leader on show. She won that debate. And after that, the SNP had yet another surge in membership. Another 1,600 people joined as Nicola was speaking on the debate programme. All these positive things were all related to a, a positive agenda that the SNP is fighting on. Contrast that with what has happened in the last week to our opponents. The main thing that has happened is they have launched this. Project Smear, as it's been called in the press. There has been a concerted attempt to smear Nicola Sturgeon immediately after the debate. It saw the Liberal Democrat Scottish Secretary, along with the Tory supporting Daily Telegraph, the Labour Party and social media, everyone piling in to try and smear Nicola Sturgeon with not just a lie that was attempting to smear her, but a lie that compromised the French ambassador and the French government. How despicable. But then again, maybe it's the best example we've got of how the culture of UK politics needs to change. It needs to focus on the future and what the needs of the people are, and it needs to get away from this damaging culture of smear and counter-smear that seems to permeate the whole of Westminster. So it really is time for a change, and it really is time for the SNP. Thanks for listening.